Good day everyone. I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak. Now overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. The good news is the winds will continue to diminish in strength. The problem here is that we're expecting the winds to kick up out of the south and southwest once again, especially Friday afternoon into the evening hours. Because of this, the National Weather Service in Medford has put on a red flag warning in effect for the Shasta Valley from around Weed up towards Hornbrook from noon to 6 p.m. on Friday and also along and east of the Cascades in the shaded areas here from about uh, 2 to 8 p.m. on Friday because of low relative humidities from 10 to 15 percent and winds out of the south southwest from 10 to 30 miles per hour, but there could be some stronger wind gusts. Why is this happening? Well, it's because we have an upper level low. It's out here in the Pacific, but it's helping push in south and southwesterly flow around this upper level low aloft, and that's been channeling right into the Shasta Valley. Thankfully, things are calming down right now into tomorrow morning, but they'll be kicking up again for tomorrow afternoon into the evening hours. On the upper air chart, here's our upper level low. With that south and southwesterly flow, it's going to continue to move off to the northeast. What we're going to see here is more warm to hot air develop aloft and start to push off to the west. And when that happens here, we sometimes can get some pretty hot temperatures coming up. And that's a possibility here in the Rogue Valley where we could have some very hot temperatures coming up next week. There's still a lot of uncertainty here, but right now there is the potential at this time. It will be much cooler along the coast. Lows in the 40s and 50s overnight tonight. Highs in the 50s and 60s for tomorrow. We'll have some areas of clouds around, maybe some fog into tomorrow morning, becoming partly to mostly sunny though during the day. The winds are calming down to the west of the Cascades now into the morning hours. However, tomorrow they'll be kicking up once again and we're going to have some more sunshine out there mixing in with some clouds. There may be some areas of haze and smoke as well during the day, especially closer to the Klamathon fire there in the northern parts of Siskiyou County. Low night. Uh, generally in the upper 40s through the 50s and highs tomorrow, 80s to maybe around 90. Unfortunately, that wind really kicks up again out of the south and southwest in the Shasta Valley from 10 to 30 miles per hour. There could be some stronger wind gusts, and we have mainly north and northwest winds here around Medford during the afternoon and evening. East of the Cascades, low temperatures will be in the uh, 40s through the 50s, maybe a little bit cooler up towards Chamult. Your highs in the 70s and 80s, Crater Lake at 46 and 66, some clouds overnight. And for tomorrow, sunshine mixing with clouds. There could be some areas of smoke and haze. The wind becoming south, southwest, 10 to 30 miles per hour. This is what I was talking about in the seven day forecast. We have highs generally in the 80s and 90s, but we may really heat up by next week, possibly 90s and 100s. It's not set in stone, but it's a possibility. Low temperatures generally in the 50s and 60s. At times, we may even be dealing with some haze and possibly some smoke. Klamath Basin, temperatures will be in the 80s and maybe 90s by next week. Lows in the 40s and 50s. And again, at times, there may be some areas of haze and smoke. And from out Shasta City, our low temperatures will be in the 40s and 50s. High temperatures in the 80s, maybe even into the 90s by the middle and latter half of next week for the coast. Much cooler overall. Lows in the 40s right through the 50s and high temperatures in the 50s and 60s. We may even see some 70s at times, especially next week.